beautiful day from Williamsport continues. They come from all over the world. Puerto Rico and Germany will square off in this one as international play kicks off from Williamsport. It comes your way next. Drums. What up, Williamsport? It's that time of year again. A little guitar, please. You ready for some baseball? One, two, three, yeah. Hey, Germany. You ready for Puerto Rico? Let's do this. <laughs> it's on. The Middle League World Series on ESPN. to Little League Baseball presented by Kellogg's Frosted Flakes. A gorgeous night here in Williamsport and our matchup from Volunteer Stadium. It'll be Germany taking on Puerto Rico. Take a look at the field for the 2010 Little League World Series, our 64th Little League World Series. Eight teams from the United States, eight international teams. The last five champions in this tournament have been from the U.S. Take a look at what happened earlier today in game one right here at Volunteer. Nick Nardone struck out 10 in five and two thirds. He was simply brilliant. And it was Jack Quinn, the big hit, two one double in the fifth. That was the difference as Fairfield held off the high scoring team from Washington, the final three to one. Meanwhile, over at Lomity, Texas jumped out early, top of the first, a solo homer by Blake Toller, and Texas led it one to nothing. Three batters later, more home run ball. Jake Orlando blasting a two-run homer, and he would add a second home run of the day in the fourth, and Carolina, Texas would roll to a 10-8 victory over Minnesota. Hi folks, thanks for joining us. John Shambi alongside Bobby Valentine. Lots to get you to here. Lots of changes. Double elimination bracket as well. Expansion of video replay, including the ability to challenge a call. We've already had our first challenge. More on that coming up. But as far as new stuff, our first chance to get a chance to work in this Little League World Series. I'm excited about that, to work with you, John, and to be here in Little League heaven. You know, I feel like I'm walking on a cloud because this was always my dream, to be on a, in uniform on this field and to watch these players smile, swing, and play this game of baseball really makes me feel great. Yeah, there's been a lot of smiles on and off the field already. Let's start with Germany, a team comprised of exclusively American citizens, essentially dependents of mainly military personnel and they're still learning the game. You bet they are, and they played very well to win their bracket in Europe, but this competition will be another level up for this team, and I think they come in as the underdogs. Since 2001, when the Caribbean region was started, Curacao has won every single year. Not this time, it was Puerto Rico prevailing. They're in the World Series for the first time since 99, and they have a very skilled team. Skill is what we would call it. For 12-year-olds, they can hit field, they pitch very well, with breaking balls and control and they've had many father images cousin images and friends who have directed them in the right direction yeah one of the big stories the valentine family tree and for more on that story we go downstairs and turn it over to kyle peterson yeah, thank you, Boog. This Valentine family tree has a ton of branches here in Williamsport. It starts with the Patriarch Jose, who has been involved with this Manatee Little League for the last 31 years. They had, Jose and his wife Yolanda had five children, three of which still play a part in this Little League right now. Jose played 16 years in the big leagues, Javier, 10 years himself in the big leagues, and his son Victor is currently the team president of Manatee. Then we go to his grandchildren, three of which are on this team right there. Yomar, the son of Jose, Victor, the son of his son Victor, and then Javier, his daughter Lillian's son, just five years ago. Jose and his wife Yolanda were given the George and Barbara Bush Parents of the Year by Little League. Here he is with his three grandsons before the game. At that point when they were here in Williamsport, Jose said the only thing that would be better than this to coach my grandsons here in five years, fast forward to 2010, is going to do just that today, Boogie. Kyle Parent of the Year this year for Williamsport, CC Sabathia's mom, Margie. We got Europe going up against the Caribbean, Germany, and Puerto Rico. It's next. 